Hello, I'm Jeff Michael. Here is your CBS On The Go update. We have a big warning for Panera customers. Security company Krebs Security says for at least eight months, consumer information was exposed on Panera Bread's website. It reportedly included data like email, physical addresses, phone numbers, and the last four digits of credit card numbers. Panera confirmed the problem, but says data from less than 10,000 customers was actually involved. Hey, the Saudi Arabian Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman is in town to talk movies with the heads of major studios. According to The Hollywood Reporter, the prince and his entourage booked the entire Four Seasons Hotel in Beverly Hills. Booked it for three nights. Rooms at the Four Seasons start around 600 bucks a night. There are 285 of them in total, and that doesn't count the presidential suites, which go for $10,000 and up per night. Not that that really matters to the Crown Prince. <laughs> now here's your CBS2 travel forecast with Daniel Gersh. Maybe he got a little bundle discount. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So heavy snow going to spread from the northern plains to New England. As much of a foot of snow possible today in some Great Lakes locations. Also for the Ohio Valley, uh, possible you see severe thunderstorms with large hail, damaging winds and tornadoes, even localized flash flooding possible there. Critical fire weather conditions continue for the central and southern plains. Highs today in the upper 60s from downtown LA. Look at Phoenix, 88 this afternoon, even 80s into Dallas and Houston all the way into Charlotte to 40 the high in Kansas City, near 50 in Denver, 30s from Butte, 22 the high in Grand Forks, below freezing in Minneapolis, and 40s from Manhattan all the way up to Boston. You could see some weather-related travel delays today, especially if you're traveling through Chicago or Newark. Other than that, you should be in good shape, though. Here at home, high pressure is briefly going to start to build over the area. If you live in the inland areas, the valleys, you're going to warm up the next couple of days. It'll stay cool for the beaches and the basin, and then we have some changes on the way. As we head into Saturday, an area of low pressure will combine with some subtropical moisture. We could see some showers, light showers throughout the day on Saturday. That system moving out as we head into Sunday. High temperatures today, 60s along the coast, 65 in Manhattan Beach, upper 70s for the San Fernando Valley, low 60s for the Orange County Coast, 75 as we head to Fontana, nearly 80 degrees in San Bernardino, nearly 60 up in the mountains. Here's that extended forecast, a quiet weather pattern the next couple of days, uh, very warm for the valley in the inland areas, but cooler for the beaches in the basin, and then cooler on Saturday for everyone with some showers possible. Jeff. Okay, Danielle, thank you. Hey, you want to borrow a drone for the weekend? Believe it or not, you can check one out at some local libraries. CBS 2's Joe Kwan reports there are even some more surprising things that are on those library shelves. Sure, you can check out books and DVDs here at Placential Library, but now you can also check out one of these. Yes, we've gone beyond that. <laughs> Library director Jeanette Contreras says there are about 40 items you can borrow for two weeks at a time. The inventory was decided through a social media survey and paid for with the library's general fund. We're happy to give to the community what they need. Planning to bake a cake? Yeah, there's something to help. We do ask that you come back and return it clean. If you leave some batter behind, there's a cleaning fee. Want to learn to play the guitar or maybe the violin? They've got those too. Responding to our community's needs and their needs are are beyond what we typically think of libraries, which is books. Some are still here for the books. We have a German Shepherd, so we're picking out a book on German Shepherds and training. But Palmer Clark says... It's nice that the library is doing something to attract people in. Such as also offering gadgets, including this Barbie hoverboard. Uh, technical difficulty? The items come in its original box container, so mm -hmm. all the instructions are there for you. There's no cost to borrow, and just like the books here, no overdue fees, but there are replacement costs. All you need is a library card, and if you're throwing a party, they have you covered as well. They got a popcorn machine, a snow cone maker. Now, if you happen to damage or lose the two combined, you're looking at $800. Mm -hmm. Some other libraries have similar programs. But um, the collection size is not like ours. I bet they don't have a leaf blower. No. <laughs> or this, but you're going to have to get in line. You'll be the first in line for that popcorn maker? Probably. <laughs> in Placentia, Joe Kwan, CBS2 News. Of course, we all here think that's an awfully nice leaf blower. The L.A. Clippers are taking their game on the road, but not 
but not actually leaving Los Angeles. Thanks to owner Steve Ballmer, the Clippers Foundation as well. More than 300 public basketball courts across Los Angeles are getting full renovations. Ballmer, along with there's Mayor, Mayor Eric Garcetti right there getting the rebound, along uh, with uh, Clippers player Lou Williams taking that shot there. Oops. Got shot some hoops with the kids. This is one of the courts in Baldwin Hills. The $10 million in updates include asphalt for the outdoor courts, wood flooring for the indoor ones, new backboards, rims, and scoreboards. Ah, I didn't see if you made the hook. And that's your CBS On The Go update. I'm Jeff Michael. Remember, we're always on at CBSLA.com. And be sure to watch us on the CBS2 News at 5, 6, and 11 p.m.